Hi, my name is Perry Nally. I am a software engineer and graphics designer. I appreciate the time that Mr. Beard has given me to talk to you about standards that I use in my workplace and my personal projects. The standards that, are, that I use are really important um, for two reasons. One is that it allows me to, to send my content to someone else and they know exactly what they're going to get. Uh, the other reason it's important is because it keeps, not all the time, but it can help keep my um, storage space to a minimum. Um, if I am always keeping the same standards across to whatever I do, depending on the need of the project, then I know that the content is going to be up to a certain level. So down the road, if I need a, a template that I know I've created in the past, I know that it's going to be a certain size, um, and so I can go and grab that from a pre previous project. So for communicating information or sending files back and forth between each other, uh, there's two things that need to be um, taken into account. First off, communication is the best uh, way to understand it, understand what is the need. So a lot of times a company will, um, they'll say these are the standards that we have or these are what we use because they have to communicate that to their clients. And so when you're, when you're creating content um, for video or media, um, or websites or apps or games. Um, I personally, I build apps and games mobile on mobile devices as well as websites. So it's important that <clears throat> the, the file sizes are not too big and that they're not too small. If they're too small, you're going you're gonna to get pixelation. You're going to get other issues. If they're too big, you're going to eat up all your storage space and that's going to cause a problem and it's not going to be as portable of a project as, as it could be. Um, and with with the extra size, um, sometimes your fi your system's going to slow down. It's going to make your work process a lot longer, especially when you're working with hundreds of files, um, hundreds of graphics files in a mobile in a mobile game or a mobile app. Um, it's really important to keep those to the the, the perfect size, uh, and that really depends on on the tool that you're you're using. So I'm not going to give you a specific size at this point. The the programs I use Adobe Photoshop. I use GIMP, which is a free tool out there, but it's, it's similar, not as powerful as fo uh, Photoshop. Um, I use Design. <clears throat> I also use some 3D tools, but those you ex you can export all sorts of files, but you need to be able to bring in uh, textures, which are just images, um, into those files, and they have to be to, to a certain file size, a certain spec, or they're just not going to look good at all. So when you're rendering something, a lot of times you want the most beautiful image, um, and that is going to be... A larger resolution, um, it's going to cause a little bit of a bigger file size. But sometimes there's a trade-off in, yeah, you need a bigger file. Um, I don't care about the storage size. So those are some things that you'll need to take into account with um, with standards, file file types, file sizes, file resolutions, um, the tools that you use. Um, I opted to save the the some money because I'm not, I don't need it all the time at work, my professional work. Um, I don't need Photoshop all the time. So I just use GIMP. The One of the problems is GIMP doesn't support all the features that Photoshop does when it comes to layering. It, it has, it, it, there's some other t uh, features that it does not have as well. Um, but it, it works for my needs. The girls that are in the design area, uh, they will often send me the the PSD file, which is the, the the raw Photoshop file, I can convert that. But when I bring it into GIMP, um, I will sometimes lose um, a layer or two, depending on what that layer is, the type of layer that it is. And so it doesn't always work um, the greatest. If everyone's using Photoshop, no big deal, pass around the PSD. But that's another level of communication that we needed to keep as a standard is, okay, when you're sending it to me because I don't have Photoshop, I need you to send it in such and such file type. Um, or make sure that you merge these two layers together so that I don't, I don't lose it. Um, fonts are really important that everyone has the same fonts across their system. Or if you don't think that they do, make sure you are, make sure you ask, Hey, do you have this font? Because I'm using this font in, in this layer. And then you can pass it back and forth, whatever it is. If it's a free font, you'll have to buy licenses or whatever for it. So those are some of the standards that I go through. Some of the hangups that I get. Um, not all the time anymore because we've kept we've implemented some of those standards, but um, in the beginning when I started at this company, there were some things that you know people just didn't know about the mobile stuff, about some of the web stuff that um, that I needed to keep as a standard. And once I set that up, it 
uh, it made my job a lot easier. It made their job a lot easier. And things started to go smoothly a lot faster than um, it normally could have. And people weren't frustrated. It was, it was really easy.